back. Excited. And um, I got a couple things I'm going to build today. What the fuck? I just... Oh, no, I didn't. Dude, holy crap. There's a hole in the floor right here. I just, like, yeah, it's called it's called where our stairs go. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no. It really is. No, but no, like, but right here, stairs, right here, stairs, I just like flew up. Do you see? You see this other hole right here? <laughs> I just like I was trying to go up the stairs, and suddenly I'm like up here, and I was like, <laughs> where the fuck am I at? Where does it go? Why? Why does it go here? Is it? Wait, did the chocobo go in here? I think it's just been here. This guy's been here. No, in this section. Oh wait, it's open. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a different room, like the behind the scenes. The behind the scenes. I didn't. I didn't realize when I turned my head slightly to the right, I would realize uh, that this was amazing. all one big room. <laughs> oh, I do have good news. Oh yeah. Um, uh, Big Jeff has been found. What? Big Jeff, Big Cardboard Jeff. Oh, really? Yeah, he actually never got lost. Uh, when I asked some people at the fire station, they're like, oh, yeah, he's chilling up in the bunk room. He's like, sitting by the window saluting. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So he's That's... just been hanging out. He's been hanging out at the fire station for like a month now. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear that. I was, you know, that was that was a, like, I was disturbed for him or nope, he something. Is, he is good to go somewhere. I haven't seen him, though. Maybe they're, maybe they're lying to me. They're just, like, trying desperately. It's, like, one of the, it's like basically out of a sitcom right now. They're, like, trying they're, desperately they're like, to replace him. They're like, yeah, yeah, he's, he's here. Well, guys, we'll find a new one when he's, when he's not looking. Don't worry. I'm yeah. sure it's not that hard. It's just, like, all these people trying to figure out what it even is. What is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, what would, I, what would I call this looking for it on Amazon? Yeah. I, I don't understand. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, so that's news. That's it supposedly has been located. That's amazing. Supposedly. Do we have twenty three of the octuple compressed cobblestone? That's Is that good? That was just I mean it doesn't we don't need them anymore, but that's a that's a lot of compressed cobble that cobblestone that's a lot of cobblestone. That's what that is. Um So can that make us like a bunch of generators, I guess it could, actually. But purple. What you doing? Weird. Oh, so remember when we were coming home from the marathon? Yeah. And I got called up to the ticket counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you, you want to hear what that was all about? I, as you got on the plane, you said something about they changed your seat, but it wasn't quite clear to me what exactly you were telling me. So they. I walked up to the counter because, you know, for people who are listening who didn't didn't know, I, I, for the first time in my life, got to go into the lovely Delta Sky Lounge, which was amazing, by the way, <laughs> um, because I've always just been one of those, you know, nobody's chilling at the airport. This this and... is actually, I, I mean, I don't want to interrupt your story, but this, I really enjoyed this because I, I kind of always knew what was back there. I guess I'd seen in before, and you just thought it was like this little, like, room with, like, some newspapers and some oh, seats. Yeah, I completely thought it was just like the quiet place to get away from the hustle and bustle of the airport and maybe they had coffee or something like that for <laughs> for the people who were in the sky lounge because let's be honest it's really not that expensive especially if you have a really long layover and you was going to go pay 50 bucks to get in there people would do that to be away and kind of a place to sit, maybe a nicer chair, some free coffee or something like that if you had like a really long layover people would do that I would I would think do we yeah. have any more machine frames? We have to, right? I don't know. No way we don't have machine frames. That's crazy to me. Um, but anyways, besides that. So I was chilling in this lovely <laughs> lounge that I had never been in before. And I was just like basking in the amazingness <laughs> of what this place was. And the the poor peons who were flying with us that didn't get to go inside, <laughs> they... Uh, they texted me and said, hey, Jeff, they just called your name at the gate. And I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, these guys are just trying to get me out of this fancy <laughs> lounge. <laughs> they, they are not going to succeed. But it was actually like close to the time that we uh, were supposed to go get on the plane anyway. So I leave the lounge and go up to the gate. And there's a the woman at the gate, I, I was like, you know, I, I was told that you called my name earlier. And she goes... Oh, yeah, what's your name? And she spoke, like, with this really heavy accent, so it was really hard to talk to her because <laughs> we just couldn't – I couldn't hear everything that she was saying. And she goes, 
I told so I told her my name, and she goes, "Oh yeah, I called you 20 minutes ago." Oh god! And then just kind of like looked the other way, and I was like, <laughs> "And now I'm done with you." <laughs> I was like, "Okay." <laughs> so do I need to do anything? And she goes, "Well, I, I, I was looking for you 20 minutes ago, so now I don't remember what it was all about." Oh pff, wow! And I, and I was like, "Oh, okay." So I take it it wasn't important. She goes, "Well, I had to move your seat." Wow. And she said it like just like that, and I was like. Okay. Is it still on this plane? <laughs> you have to move my seat. Did I, did I get? I said, did I get upgraded? Because that's what I'm thinking. When you tell me you have to move my seat, my assumption is you upgraded me. Right. Good things because, have come my way, basically. Well, because despite us not having bought tickets individually, like together, all our tickets were purchased through the same group, and my, Michael and I were in the same row together. Yeah. And. So I'm thinking, okay, I've got travel companions. You don't separate somebody because you are screwing them. For cuz yeah, cuz you're just moving them away from somebody like without giving them something, right. you know, in the in the meantime. So she's like she's like, "Well, no, 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 not an upgrade. Like a family wanted to sit together, but I don't remember all the details about it." Oh. And I was I was like, "Okay, so am I in the same seat?" She's like, "No, no, no, no. no. So you the rules are that I have to move you, you're a window seat, so I have to move you to a window seat, and I have to move you farther up in the plane, so that's what happened, but I don't remember what seat you're in anymore. You'll find out when you when you get on the plane. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, um... That's okay. ridiculous. Okay, I'll find out when I get on the plane. I guess whenever you whenever you check it, it prints out a little thing they hand you, right? That's what happened, right? Well, yeah, yeah. So that is what happened. But I was like, because I didn't know this, so I'm not used to like I'm getting my seat moved. That's not an upgrade. And even the one time I got upgraded, they told me like you've been upgraded. Here's your new tickets, type right, of deal. Right. And so I'm like, okay, okay. And she's like, yeah. Like I said, I I I called you like 20 minutes ago, and I said. <laughs> I was I was in the Delta Sky Lounge with one of your you know, one of my flying companions, and she goes, "Oh, they didn't call you in there." And I was like, "Well, no, it's not like my Sky Lounge." <laughs> I don't own it. I, like I I don't know what to say. I'm like either way. So whatever. I said you moved me so a family could sit together. Okay, whatever. So I walk away from the counter, and at this point she also turns around right after I leave and makes the announcement that they want to. Do that. That they want to have people. I don't know why airlines do this at all. I think I've complained about this before. They make you, they charge you for bags, but then they say that they run out of all this space for bags, so that they check them for free at the gate. Yeah. Which I'm always just like, okay, whatever. This is stupid, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, so immediately after, they're like, you know, so we're we're running low on overhead space. It's a full flight, everybody. So if you want to check your your bag, you bring it on up to the counter. So I walk up to the counter, like immediately afterwards. I turn right back around, and I'm like, I want to get rid of this bag. And it's the same lady, and she looks at me, and she's like, I, I, I like I, I told you, I don't remember. I don't remember where your seat's at. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm gonna, <laughs> hey, I don't I'm gonna, care. I'm gonna check my bag. And she goes, just check it when you get on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, like this, this lady's answer for everything is check it when you get on the plane. So I, I'm getting on the plane, and yes, my seat has moved 10 rows up. I am now sitting in a random row. I do feel bad for Michael, though, because the people who wanted to move to sit to, next to each other, it was like a husband and wife with a three year old child. I swear to God, this kid was three on their lap. Wow. That's so, pretty big for in lap well, seating, well, right? I noticed it when I went back to go to the bathroom at one point, and I was like, holy shit, that's the biggest kid I've ever seen on anybody's lap on a plane in my life. And I see Michael just sitting there, like, in the aisle seat. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> well, okay, I, mean, I guess I'm glad I'm out of that seat, you know. And uh, so halfway through the plane, or not halfway through, pretty <laughs> early on in the plane, right, ride, we're, oh, we're to the, you know, get to cruising altitude. I go to recline my seat, and I can't figure out how the fuck my seat reclines. Oh, God, they, they put you in the damn... Uh, the, they the, put me mm. in the one in front of the exit row. Yep. So the seat doesn't recline in this particular seat. It's mm. So now I've gotten moved away from the person I'm flying with. Against my like knowledge, nobody can tell me where I'm sitting until I get on the plane to now a four-hour flight with a seat that does not recline at all. That's ridiculous. So that was that was the my upgrade. 
Wow. On the on the plane ride. Yeah, upgrade, quote unquote. It's it's kind of annoying because like whenever I picked everyone's flight, I made sure that no one got the seat you just described. Well, they apparently made sure I went back and got that seat. That's such bullshit. They were like, "Fuck this guy." You can take this seat, and I was just like, "Okay, whatever." Like, I'm a big, I'm a big boy. I can handle this. But it was just, it makes me. It, the, one of the things that makes me so mad about it is just this such lack of customer service in general. It, it's right. Yeah. I, I don't. I just. I don't. I, I, I had another customer service issue I just dealt with today. Oh my god, I could go on forever with this thing. So my parents, as a housewarming gift. Bought us a fancy, like a, a fancy, quote unquote, a, a nice microwave. That's like an over the range microwave for our new house. And it, she ordered it two and a half weeks ago, and it's still on its way to get delivered to a Sears around here, which just baffles me because I don't know what the hell it takes something that long to get delivered anywhere. But I went to look it up today, and it says that the store is getting delivered to. I tried to look up the store to find out the exact location of it, and it, it, Sears says it's closed. Forever? Like, it's not a store anymore? I think you hit your talk key again. Oh, fuck, I did. You're right. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the, the words were forever? It's closed forever? Yeah, yeah. Supposedly, according to... Uh, let me make this thing. According to their, their app, it's, uh, that particular store has closed down. What? And so I'm like, I'm going to call the customer service people and see what the hell's going on here because if my microwave is being shipped somewhere that doesn't exist anymore, I don't know what to do. So I call, I call them up. And I, 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 can't even, I can't even talk about it with a straight face. Of course I get put to some call center. It's obviously not here in America, not only because – it erases as it sound. You can hear it in the voice, but they also had no idea what was happening. Like they, you could tell they didn't have any connection into the like local Sears system. Right. And the guy just kept getting the information from me, and he finally looked up the order, and he was like, "Yes, sir. I see that that has that item is processing and should be arriving to the store tomorrow. So everything is good with your order." And I said. No, no, you don't understand. I said, when I look up the store, it says it's now closed. And he's like, oh, oh, okay. Let, let me see what I can do. Let me put you on hold. So he puts me on hold for a while, and he comes back, and he goes, all my, all my chocobos are gone. Oh, <gasps> That's what he said? Yeah. He said, all my chocobos are gone. And I was like, sir, I feel you. I feel you, man. Or are you breeding them, too? sir? Um... What are the they... fuck? No, they're they're really gone. Every single one of them. Oh my gosh! Wait, you're saying that was such a weird? No, I I I am genu I am genuinely shocked. Weird inflection. I am not. I'm not. <laughs> just like that portal, I also had nothing to do with this. I was I was winning the race here. In fact, I won it just a second ago. I didn't want to interrupt your story, but I gotta go oh, with Chocobo. You, you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no Chocobos. Wow. I'm uh, I'm swimming in wealth here. I'm like the one percent, and you don't you even are have the any. One percent. I got nothing. Um, so, anyways, while I rebuild my chocobo life, uh, <laughs> chocobo <this> life. <laughs> why can't I? I wonder. I wonder if the same thing. Well, no, wait, because mine was definitely height based. I mine died because they suffocated. I bet your oxygen system did the stupid glitchy thing where it just stops working. Where a glitch? Oh, you know what? I didn't even check to see. Like, am I? Breathing oxygen right now. Yeah, I have. I just took off my oxygen mask. It, I'm taking damage. Oh, snap. So what did I do? Or wait, was this room ever sealed, actually? Where's my sealers at? Either way. Well, I'm figuring this thing out. There's no sealers in here. What the hell? Oh, this is my airlock room. So never mind. I should have died in there. Um, yeah, this is sealed. This doesn't make any sense. He says, you know, give me a minute, I'll come back. And he comes back and he goes, it was like three minutes later, he comes back and he's like, I'm sorry, sir, it's taking a little bit longer than I expected. I'm trying to call the store and nobody's answering. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on. And I was like, wait, wait, what? So he puts me on hold again. And he comes back and he's like, sorry, sir, I cannot confirm whether this store is still open or not because nobody's answering the phone at the store to tell me. So... 
I was like, this is ridiculous. This That is ridiculous. I, I need to figure out what's happening here. So he says, let me get my manager, let me get my supervisor, and, and we should see if they can figure out what's going on. So he transferred him to somebody else who literally starts the process over from the oh very beginning. Oh, my God. And... Finally, I told her, you know, they already tried to call the store. Nobody's answering, blah, 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 like all this stuff. And she goes, okay, so let me call the store. Please <laughs> what, say what she said she, say? she said, let me call the, I mean, use my resources to see if I can find <laughs> out what is happening. She, like, literally said it just like that. Julia was listening on speakerphone, and we were like, what the fuck? Let me call the, I mean, utilize my resources. <laughs> and she comes back with, that she can't get a hold of anybody at the store to be able to know. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, that's amazing. So, I have no idea if uh, <laughs> this. Is... It's just—it's so random. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, oh my god! This stuff has the. I always hate story. hearing stories about Delta doing wrong. Well, because you don't have to deal with it, Mr. First Class. Well, I mean, no, those... I mean, I just, uh, I, you know, I, I, I've always had nothing but good experiences. I mean, that's why I chose them as the, as, you know, I mean, I, I could have gone with any airline to be my airline. You know what I mean? It wasn't like they paid me or something. They were like, hey, if only fly with us. It was like I had really good experiences, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to commit. I got married to Delta. <laughs> I mean, that's, and that's good, and I'm not exactly sure why you chose Delta. Did you choose Delta before you had flown, like, uh, first class and all that stuff, or were you... Yeah. I like them I over just... every, like, I hate United and American. Is American oh, still I actually, in business? I very much dislike United, I will, I will admit that, but I don't know, it's just, maybe I'm used to Southwest, because... See, I've never actually so, tried Southwest. That's the only one, because I don't like the premise of uh, not getting an assigned seat. So I will I will admit that's something that I if I travel alone I'm okay with it because I have an opportunity to pull an exit row seat but for the most part I like to be a little bit more like locked down and know what seat I'm going to have so I don't really have to worry about it. So I'm with you there. But their seats do have like 2 inches of extra legroom in every seat compared to all the other airlines. Yeah, I've heard that. Like so that's something that I definitely do like about it. Oh, is this is Like I'm the kind of guy that needs to know I don't know. I, I'm not good if I don't know everything about my travel months in advance. Well, you don't want them to just randomly uh, change your seat? Oh, God, I would have lost my it. mind. I would have gone crazy. <laughs> See, and the sad thing is, like, I didn't know at the time Yeah. if, um, like, that it was that bad of a seat in comparison. Like, I right. had absolutely no idea, which... Is even worse because I actually could have done something about it if that was the case. I mean, like, look, at least put me in a seat. Like, if you need to move me for a family, I get it. I'm I'm a nice guy like that, uh, but you know, at least put me somewhere that I can recline and fully enjoy, like what the seat has to offer me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was kind of wrong. I yep, don't ever I fly would, Delta I would again. Agree. <laughs> you show <laughs> I them will never. Never fly that damn airline in my life. All the other things don't work off of each other. So now that I've made the golden chocobo on the space, I can bring him to the planet, right? Uh, I think so. You're not because you're not supposed to be breeding with them anymore, right? <laughs> not supposed to be breeding with them anymore. Good. Why are you breeding with these things? I wonder if you take two gold. Can do they make another gold? I'm still uh, breeding them right now to see what what I, I'm just still I'm still just you know I just really enjoy I breeding. I mean. It's just watching animals do what animals do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that sounded so like... Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Watching animals do what animals do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have you seen Sling Blade? <laughs> no. God damn it. Fucking, fucking Sling Blade. Well, you know, that way... That, uh -huh. That's basically a quote from Sling Blade. I didn't actually know Sling Blade was real. I thought it was just... This joke? Like a that? joke? This jokes yeah, to you? Why, why, did even, why did it even get brought up about the Sling Blade and chopped and <sighs> sliced and all that random <laughs> stuff? Why uh, are we talking about Sling Blade? Well, because that that came about was something with Milby. I, I, it was uh, oh, it was during Mario Kart. We were talking about movies because we've been on this like Haley Joe Osmond rip for a while. Like, just his like, there's this whole lore that's been created about like his face has been traveling through time, and 
Um, I don't know. It's a long story. I see. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in between some episodes, I had uh, asked Milby if he'd ever I – don't, I don't know. We, we started talking about uh, Billy Bob Thornton, and um, – and he was talking about how he doesn't, doesn't have to talk about Billy Bob Thornton. Right. See, you got it. Um, <laughs> and he was saying how, you know, he doesn't have any good movies, really. And I was like, what about Sling Blade? And no one knew what the hell I was talking about. In the comments for that podcast, people knew. The people, people, there, there are cultured viewers that out there. But. Well, why can I not figure out anything that's going on with this Chocobo? I can't, like, right click on him. Is he? Am I doing, do you own him? He, I mean, I try to give him some Geisha, and he won't eat it. He's Geisha, right? Yeah. Regular Geisha? Yeah. Or do you need the other Geisha to? No, the regular. To to wait. He's a baby. No, it's a big guy. You trying to breed him? No, I'm just trying to make him mine. Make him love me. Oh, then yeah. Hello. Yeah, you're. It's a right click, right? Yeah. Hello. Do you have a Chocopedia? Uh, yes. Do I gotta click on him with the Chocopedia? To get more information. Oh, about him. there yeah. we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted to turn him into follow. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, I do have to click on him with the Chocopedia. I'm gonna try to, uh. I actually need to read. I, the only one I have is a blue one because it's what I had in a, um. Mm. In an, uh, egg thingy. Well, I'll see. So I need. I mean, I'll share if you need. No, 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 no. I, I got this, but I just need to start again. It's annoying because one blue doesn't do anything for you because you need right, a blue with a green. you need a green, yeah. Oh, no, but I guess only one yellow and you can start the whole process like that, right? I don't know. Maybe. Can you make a... Hold on. Will a blue and a yellow fornicate to become a yellow? Or will they just not even fornicate? Will they be like, nope, not interested? Yellow equals green or blue. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I think if you read a yellow and a green, you're either going to get another yellow or a green. But I guess if you you got another yellow, then maybe you could eventually get a blue out oh, of that. I actually got to find out: is this a man or a woman? Are you are you a man or a woman? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a woman. See, that's that's sling blade. I mean, yeah, that's exactly. I, I I knew that. That's why I was talking about it because you know, favorite quote. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you've heard people say that before, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I. It sounds like it'd be something from Deliverance versus Sling Blade. Well, you don't know anything about Sling Blade. That is correct, <laughs> except for apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's. It's basically the extent of your sling blade knowledge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh Jesus. How do I no 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 no. How do I let my inventory just get ridiculously full again? Like just oh Jesus. Yeah, just get just got my just got my inventory. Go over there. Are you at a good stopping point? Yeah, I mean you mean forever stopping point? <laughs> Would you like to end this series right now? No. Uh, <laughs> but you like to end this episode? Yes, I can end the episode. All right. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.